We're going to talk about weight and trauma and why we gain weight, why we lose weight. Um, last week, if you weren't around, I began a series, and the series is going to venture into the different areas of trauma. So you'll just have to, um, my man is making lunch anyway, so it's kind of loud. Um, so the series is going to deal with the six zones of personal power that trauma affects. And when we can't cope, we, we gain powerlessness, basically. We give up our power in that area in order to cope and make sense of things. And then what happens is um, a dis-ease tends to happen. So um, we are going to... I'm going to keep going into that. So we're still on the body zone, the personal power zone of your body. And I'm just diving deeper this week. I have a program that's opening up. Um, it's open, actually. You can register for it now. I'm accepting at 15 people into the program at this moment. Um, there is a payment option, and you can find it at antiqualibby.com forward slash amazing dash body. So antiqualibby.com forward slash amazing dash body to become part of this group and walk through the healing process of restoring order to your body and really understanding um, healing and and growing in this. So hi, whoever just joined. Hello, hello. Um, I'd like to know if you guys can hear me. It's always so weird. Um, see if we can do messages here. I can message me. Um, I might have to walk someplace else because I'm not alone here. So maybe I'll go outside. Or maybe he's going outside. <laughs> okay. So we're going to talk about the body and specifically weight. I know that weight is a pain point for um, a lot of women and men. Either we can't gain weight or we can't lose weight. And there's been a lot of studies done on trauma and weight and how um, trauma affects the weight. And I want to explain to you what I've learned and how this happens. Hey, so say hello and um, feel free to ask questions and all of that jazz. Um, and, and how the body uses weight in order to help you cope, help you process trauma. Um, it's pretty friggin' brilliant. So I truly, thanks for the hearts. So I truly believe that we um, are constantly, hey Daryl, that we are constantly trying to regain balance. The body wants to be at neutral and in health, so does the mind, so does your emotions, so does your soul. Um, that's what we want in relationships. Thank you, Daryl. And um, I love what you do too. Your message is incredible. Um, messaging. <laughs> um, and so what happens is the body, when we go through trauma, the body, just like every other, tends to take on pieces of that trauma. It is going to take into its tissues, issues in your tissues, it's gonna take into itself as much of the trauma that it can handle. So you, um, you don't have to cope with it all at once. So your life is saved, basically. And what happens a lot of times in trauma, when we disconnect from reality, um, I talk a lot about our our souls literally disconnecting from the lower realms, from our body, minds, and emotional state, and we kind of lose touch with ourselves. So when we do re-embodying the soul, part part of the things that happen is people start feeling like literally like touch feeling. I mean, you become aware of your body again the weight and the issues that come up, whether it's, a, oh, we talked in the live that I did the other day, we talked a lot about autoimmune diseases, we talked about um, phantom pains, we talked about chronic pain that just comes up and you can't do anything about it, we talked about different um, organ disorders like adrenal failure or thyroid or um, 
uh, digestive issues that tend to happen when the body is holding those issues and processing. So today we're specifically talking about weight. And there's two different ways that our body says, I'm going to help you process this trauma through, through weight. The first one is, hello, hello, hello. Please say hi, whoever just joined. And um, uh, let me know if you guys have any questions or want me to pause any place, because I will. So the way that our bodies process trauma is we, trauma is, trauma happens, right? There's many different traumas and we all have a different level in which we can process, but trauma is defined as when our, when we cannot cope. So we feel the loss of power and we cannot cope. So the body takes on as much of the coping that it can and then it, um, kind of sits back and and stores the rest of it in our unconscious mind. And we know it's unconscious because the memories can only be brought up by a triggered effect, right? It's not gonna be like prevalent in our subconscious where are the memories we can just pull up. Hey Shelby, hi. Hi, I'm Shelby. I'm... Yeah, so that's normal. So we're gonna talk about that, Shelby. We're gonna talk about that and normal. Know that your body is actually doing doing good. I do that too, I, I gain weight. So um, what happens is our unconscious mind takes that on and the body starts processing for you pieces of the stuff that you just can't cope with. It has to be expressed in some way and oftentimes weight does that. And it does that by activating our fight, flight, or freeze system. So you probably have heard of that, your fight, flight, or freeze system. And each of you has a propensity to do one or a combination of, of those. So for me, my adipose cells, my adaptive cells in my body tend to hunker down to fight. I've always been a fighter as one of those um, people that thought I could kick ass and never got in a fight in high school. <laughs> no, nothing ever happened. Um, but I thought so. I was bigger than life in my head. Um, but I've always been a fighter. And so now when I go through st stressful situations, when I go through um, a trauma that I can't cope with, meaning any situation in which I feel overwhelmed and unable to cope, where I feel powerless over the situation, that is trauma then I, um, my body, to help out, my physical body, reacts by gaining weight. And so when I start doing that, that is a trigger for me to know, okay, I'm fighting against something that I feel like I can't fight, that I can't win. So then it's about working with um, the different elements within the body in order to put it back at ease, to re-empower it. Now, I have friends that are just the opposite and clients that are just the opposite and say they go through a trauma and their body says, I can't cope and they are a flight. And so the flight starts burning calories. So they can eat and eat and eat and they keep losing weight. The more they eat, the more weight they lose. It's um, just as scary. It's just as scary if not even more so because uh, malnutrition and the fear of dying can happen, especially if, they're, if you're really lean. And um, it, it's painful, right? It's painful for them, same thing. So in order for them to gain weight and come back to a healthy place, it's about really listening to the body and, and getting back to neutral so you're not at fight, flight, or freeze. And that's what we're going to do is talk about different ways that you can help support the body get it, getting back to neutral and processing the trauma, processing the events in a way that's more effective for the body, specifically the body. We're not talking about mindset. We're not talking about emotionally. We're talking about helping the body, giving it the support that it needs in order to process the the trauma and work it out of the cells. And what that does is it does release the trauma, right? You're, you are dealing with the trauma. You're dealing with that layer of the trauma that your body is trying to process by supporting and loving your body. 
and you're getting rid of it. Now the other part is is freeze and freeze people can go either way. They can either gain weight or they can lose weight. What tends to happen is I find that these people are kind of frozen in action though where a person that is stuck in fight, flight or freeze and they're in flight, they're going to bounce around and do like a lot of things. Um, adrenal burnout is also something that is common in both the fight and the flight because we just go, go, go. The freeze person is want to go to sleep. Like they just want to freeze. It, it's these aspects to fight, flight, or freeze is a, um, they're life saving, right? The whole purpose of it is to save your life. Now with trauma, however, especially chronic, chronic trauma, meaning that it's on this cycle, it feels like, okay, Flash, oh, this is my kitty, but he's real, I don't want him on me right now. Um, so especially with chronic trauma, meaning the trauma happened, it was too much to deal with, and it's stuck, and it's just in the tissues, meaning that it keeps being brought up. The situation keeps getting triggered. The memory hasn't been worked through. You're not back to neutral when you think about the trauma that happens. It still triggers you. It still affects you. Um, it's still playing out. It's still being expressed through the weight on your body or the lack of weight on your body. Then in those situations, it turns into this cycle right? It's a cycle of trauma. It's a cycle of what I call the cycle of abuse. And it feels like personal abuse because you constantly have to look at it. You constantly have to go back to it. And you constantly want to fix it. It's like, oh, I need to fix this. I want this to change. I want it to change. I want to fix it. So how do you fix that? And so we're going to talk about that in the program. We're going to go more in depth, but it's really about recognizing it for what it is, being able to label it. Uh, one of my teachers that I'm currently in school with, uh, I love that she said you can't diagnose it until you know what it is, right? So we're going to label it. You're going to give it a name. You're going to know what it is. There's um, a techniques to really speak to your body and go into the issues in your tissues. Talk to the weight. Talk to your digestive system. Talk to the different elements of your metabolism and go into that. There's behaviors that are in place to keep you in the cycle until the body can express itself, until you can get through everything that you need to cope with, with the whatever happened. Right? So you can continue to, it's like, it is PTSD in the sense that the body, by holding on to the trauma, the body is, um, just trickling out its coping mechanisms. It's coming out in, in pieces, right? It's coming out in little trickles. So you don't have to deal with the big effect of it that was too overwhelming and life-threatening. It, it, can, it can be dealt with. So the weight's easier to deal with. The lack of weight is easier to deal with than the whole trauma itself. So by paying attention to that and allowing it to heal, you're going to give voice and word. Whoa. <laughs> That's okay. Um, <laughs> um, sorry, Jeff, I just heard him. Thanks for joining, Jeff. Also, um, he's in the kitchen. Okay, so um, where was I? You bring the body back to neutral. That's really our our goal, is to tell the body, I can cope with this now. Thank you for helping me cope with it. And paying attention to that and bringing healing to it. And what that's gonna do is help you more easily and effortlessly live into better patterns for your body. Get to know your own um, chemistry and and how to best serve your body. So it's, it's not on overwhelm anymore and you can either release the weight or you can gain weight normally 
and and you can move. You no longer feel this desire and this need to go to sleep or to freeze or to fight, fight, fight through it and constantly in battle or um, to run away and just I'm not going to cope with things, right? Those are more of the personality traits that run in the body. So we get an overwhelm. We can get adrenal fatigue from running away and not dealing with the pot problem not looking at it right that's the flight we can get adrenal fatigue from fighting constantly and you've seen a fighter in the ring right they're going for it and they're going for it and they get exhausted in three minutes <laughs> three minutes at a time by the end of 12 rounds they're like you know dead and so if you're constantly in that state it's it's hard to burn the calories it's hard to do that and you have to bulk up to to stay that way so we're going to talk about all of this. I'm going to go deeper into um, the elements of this weight and dealing with it. And um, we're going to do all that. So the course itself is going to start, if you're interested, it's going to start this next week. Bye. And um, we're going to go into this. We're also going to talk, I'm going to talk probably tomorrow or the next day about autoimmune diseases and the commonalities and how the body utilizes autoimmune diseases and its effect to trickle out and slowly cope, unpeel the onion of trauma from our body and why it's really a gift and how to how to process it, how to work with it and work work in it so you find the solution, you find the doctors, you find the 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 treatment that you need in order to regain balance and regain health. Sometimes um, people just lose weight, right? Sometimes uh, people just go back to neutral. They they heal the trauma and then just boom, there they are and their body normalizes. But a lot of times there's been active chemistry shift in the body and so we need those tools, we need those tips. And as long as we're not looking at it and healing the actual root of the problem. We can diet as much as we want, we can eat as much as we want, we can go to the gym as much as we want, and it will not change the situation. The same 20 pounds will come up, the same weight will just keep cycling, right? It's that cycle of abuse that I talk about so often. So to end the cycle of abuse to our bodies, it's really about forming a relationship with your body, forming a relationship with your tissues and then the issues in your tissues and healing them from the roots. And it's my intention in this six week course, it's $333, yes, you can make two payments. Um, you can join. I'm going to accept 15 people. So we, we're going to do three live calls and there's videos, there's yoga, there's ways to get to know your body. Uh, there's pieces of the nutrition course that I have, the Nourish You course to really analyze and get to know you and how to best serve yourself because we're all very, very unique in my 20 years of teaching about health and wellness and specifically physicality. I started off with nutrition and diet and yoga uh, you know, in 1996. Um, so we're going to really discover how to know yourself and build that awareness. And then we're going to go into how to make the changes and and really do it in a way that they can be effortless, right? So when you know and have a relationship with your body, it's going to be easier to do what your body needs because what your body needs might be something completely different from what somebody else's body needs. So this is um, so important to know when it comes to trauma being the the cause of your dis-ease in your body, dis-ease in your body, um, when that's the cause and it's not necessarily environmental or genetic or um, bad habits, then you have to pull those roots up. You have to deal with the trauma in order to get through it. And oftentimes when we think, oh, I have to deal with the trauma, we think, oh, we have to go through it again and kind of experience it and remember and figure out why and forgive and do all this stuff and that's just not the case. So I'm going to show you a different way 
And we're going to begin with, with the body and then we can dive deeper into that. Now, if this is something where you're like, you know what, like this sounds all great and dandy, but I don't want to be with 15 people in it. I have an amazing you program where you walk through all six of your personal power zones, reclaiming the power from trauma and reclaiming your life. And so that's a private coaching program, which you're more than welcome to look at. Um, but for this series, we are focusing on the body, how the body processes trauma, and we're going to do our first group course. I'm accepting 15 people. It's going to start. I'm closing the doors on Friday. So if you want in, get in, make the decision fast. It is um, $333. And you can find it at AnticaLibby.com forward slash amazing body. And I'll put the link down here. It's normal for the body to process trauma. Your body is trying to help the trauma leave the body because when trauma happens, it's because we cannot cope. We cannot cope. If we coped with it all at one time, we literally, our lives would be taken. So the aspects of yourself, the six personal power zones, really the four major power places of power that you hold in your body, your body, mind, spirit, and an emotional body, they they take over and they each take a part of it and they start slowly dealing with it and helping you deal with it and how it does it sometimes is really uncomfortable because the aim of the body is to heal the trauma right so it's gonna kind of keep leaking it out to you in painful ways unfortunately slowly Right? So it starts the cycle and I want to help you end the cycle as quickly as possible and reclaim the power and the comfort that you have in your own skin for your body and reclaim the power in all of your lives and, and heal from the trauma. Say, I can cope with this. I did cope with this. Really realize that you did, you did, you are, and and allow it to pass through you easily and effortlessly so you can come back to this neutral place so your body can come back to wholeness and health and you can just feel alive again, feel comfortable in your own skin. So that's my goal. You feel free to share this. Please share this with your communities, with your friends. If you know anyone who is holding on to weight and they can't figure out why, right? They eat just perfect. They eat great. They eat clean. And they're like, I don't, I don't get it. They, um, all right. It's not genetic. And, um, or it might be genetic, but it was kind of the weakest link, like I was talking about in the last live. And so for me, for instance, with, with my cancer, um, the cancer, the cervical cancer, ovarian cancer was natural, was genetic, meaning my grandmother had it. But it was also a place when my body took on the trauma of abuse that I went through at 11. That's the piece that just started, just couldn't cope. It had a a shorter cup, right? So it got filled faster and then boom, it broke. And at 21, I had cancer. And that's how it happens a lot for our adrenals too. Especially if you're constantly in fight, constantly in, in flight. And if you just want to go to sleep and you can't seem to get anything done and you're just stuck in the stuck mode, that's normal too. We're going to talk about that. And how that is kind of the bridge, I believe, between between the fight and the flight. So some people release weight and some people gain weight. Um, does anybody have any questions? I don't know if anybody's on anymore. Ah. Well, I want to thank you so much for being here. Thank you for part, being part of my community. Um, and look into the class. You can also watch the previous live. 